Hello everyone and welcome back to another snapshot video! I know, it's been ages, I apologize, I've had a wedding to go to and work to get readjusted to and a lot of other things, so yeah, a lot's happened and I'm excited to be back though and we're going to be bringing back the snapshot videos every week that they come out. I know I've missed a lot. And hopefully you guys have been watching some other epic YouTubers and stuff who uh, would be reviewing it for you so that way you were able to keep up. I've been keeping up reading all the things so I know what's new, I know what's, I know what's happening. Uh, but I'm just going to be jumping straight in with the newest snapshot, kind of ignoring the old ones and hoping you guys are already familiar enough with them that I don't need to review. The only thing I will be taking a look at is the new music disc CD because I, I want to see that in game. But, uh, you know, you guys already know that because it's the background music of the video. Any hoozle? Now, you guys are probably wondering, hey man, this doesn't look like a cool snapshot world with epic mountains and train and stuff and to which I say you are correct this is a 1.17 world and that is because this newest snapshot is all about blending so right now I'm laggily loading in some chunks so that way we can have some experiments with the new blending system and what I'm about to do is I'm just gonna be switching over to uh, the newest snapshot and updating this world and kind of seeing what it does uh, so Hopefully it doesn't break and everything works and it's all epic and cool and good and stuff and that's the plan So I will see you in a few seconds with the actual snapshotted world. Also, this is so cute Like what's this area? I want to build a house here. All right. See you soon All right guys, it's the moment of truth. I'm going to load in this brand new world I'm not making up a backup because I didn't do anything in this world and therefore don't care. But let's see if my computer can handle updating this thing. Alright, so uh, it took a while. It took a long while to load it up, but it's all loaded now. Uh, I'm really excited. We're back in the little valley where I want to build a cute little house one day. Uh, and now I'm going to dive down on this house and see see what it looks like, turn into game mode spectator, and see what it looks like underneath, because that's what I'm most curious about. So what's happening right now is right now they're working on blending, but there's no caves underneath. That's going to be happening in a future snapshot. So right now, uh, if I was to, you know, become solid again, as you can see, I'm in a giant pile of deep slate. So that's, right now that's all that's spawning underneath. We don't have like the caves blended in. Uh, but this is kind of like a good example. We now have this giant chunk of, of deep slate. But anyways, going back to spectator, what you can see, today, over in the distance where the new biome is, we have a ton of caves. Like, look at that. So you can see my not spawned in chunks here with all the deep slate going under it, and then the brand new chunks. Which is a really, it's a weird effect. So it's a, it's a really weird effect, but it's kind of cool, like, looking here and seeing, like, the old caves, and then, bam, you got these, like, octopus. It looks like a giant octopus. This thing looks terrifying. It looks like it would eat me alive if it wanted to. But that's, that's pretty much the blending in that part. But, of course, the overworld has some blending as well, so we should probably take a look at that. So you can kind of see the line-ish. So we just entered the old chunks. And as you can see, the biome is kind of the indicator of the line. There's not a, it changed to a different biome, which I do find a bit weird, like that it can't register the same biome. So you can see a clear biome line, but there isn't this weird sharpness as you, so it still like blends into a, a hill. It's a little awkward, but you know, it's definitely better than what it was. It's definitely not like Minecraft peak you know, train development. I mean, the, you got the river, so they do continue the rivers, which I guess is good. So they managed to do that. We do have some glitches, like you can see this with like the weird gullible pit, like why, why is there a random line here? I don't know what's up with that. So it's not, it's far from perfect. Uh, over here it's not even loading in. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's, it's glitchy, it's laggy, it's glitchy. 
It doesn't know how to process this mountain. Come on, you can do it. I'm curious what it does. Yeah, so it's taking a lot. It's okay. It's got now. Now it's just the entire chunk's gone. Hello. Yeah, uh, as you can see, it's it's struggling to figure out how like to blend it and stuff and to spawn the new caves. It's it struggles a lot, but oh, there we go. Look, it's trying. It's still trying. You can do it. I believe in you, game. Look at that! Look at that! Be patient! Look! Okay, so you just- you need to be patient with it. It's gonna be slow, as you can see. You can- it's- it's slow, but it is definitely trying. Like, I can tell that here it is, really, really trying its best to, like, make it look good. And it does! It looks really- it looks a lot better. See, you can see- you can see there's- here's the clear line. I got my pointer out so I can show you. Whoop! That's, that is the line. There is a clear line, but at the same time, if you're not thinking about it, you're not going to notice it, but knowing that there's supposed to be a line there, it's quite obvious that it's there. Hopefully, they can blend biomes in a bit more, so there's not the straight line, and I guess riverbeds is the other, other thing that needs to be worked with. Also, why does it keep saying, and so he plays his part in the corner of my things? Why is it saying that? Someone tell me why it keeps doing that in the corner. I don't know why. And yeah, a few other minor things to note change-wise, uh, flooded caves were reduced near the coastline, the level of water height was kind of levelated, just so there were less waterfalls and, like, boat travel would be better. Uh, also, something else really weird is the drip leaves, where they can now spawn, has been limited. You can't just put them anywhere anymore. You can't put them here, though. But you can't put them on, like, let's say, leaves or woods or stuff, there's like a limited thing that I'm gonna quickly name off the things you can put them on, so pay attention folks if this is something that interests you. They can be placed on clay, grass, dirt, farmland, moss, rooted dirt, pot soil, and mycelium. That's it. They also did some biome generation fixes such as lava spawning in icebergs, which sounds epic but sadly will no longer be happening. Uh, there was a lack of pufferfish in some oceans, which is sad, as well as lack of coral in some oceans, so that's been fixed. And also, badlands were a little too orange for their liking, and that has now been reduced. So those are all of the updates for this snapshot. I hope you're excited to have these weekly things back again. I'm excited to be doing them and exploring them. The blending is really cool. There's still some things I think can be improved, but they've definitely made progress and it's definitely exciting. But that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye! Oh.